We're being honest, we're, we're more fearless and I think we're, we're starting to believe that we are worthy of international acts coming to us and asking us for features etc. So yeah, there's a sense of um, fearlessness and also believing in who we are and loving it and doing it shamelessly. In terms of improving, I think uh, there's always more to do, there's always we, we can always improve on something, but I think definitely we need to be fighting more for us being treated as equals when it comes to um, international artists coming here. You know, I feel like that's always like, a, it leaves a very sour taste in your mouth when you see how our artists who work just as hard, who push just as hard and who do so much, um, get treated like backdoor things when there's, an art, when there's a big artist here or an international artist. So I think in terms of, um, as we should be fighting for ourselves to be appreciated on the same level as an international artist because we're all artists anyway and we're all putting in the work so yeah. I think there's a new narrative, I think kids are going through new things and I think because now the world has become so global um, the pain that the world is feeling the kids locally are feeling because they're connected also so we see that coming out in a lot of the expression but because we also have unique um, backgrounds like rurally where you come from, your township, your stories. You start seeing a mix of that with the kids who just don't lean on trying to sound like American. So you start hearing the sense of, oh, I know what he's talking about, but it's got that global feel also, you know. So, um, so yeah, so you know, I think we'll, as long as the kids are voicing, we'll always be out there, we'll always have a narrative. <laughs> to stop looking at um, outside of our continent for us to be kind of validated and for us to kind of be special. I think you can stay on the continent and you can be a king of the continent and, and, and still be an international superstar um, as we sing, you know, with many artists from the continent. So um, I think that is a great idea. I don't know how we would pull it off, but for me, you know, this is where it's at. Africa is where it's at. Choburg is where it's at and this is where it's going down. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm one of the people that kind of, I, I think I would go so far as to say that I am the person that kind of changed everything for how international, I don't say like saying international artists because we ourselves are international artists. We're just international from South Africa, mm -hmm. from Africa. So let's say people who are, you know, from overseas perhaps. Um, I definitely took a stand many years ago, and actually I took a stand <laughs> against Castle Light, <laughs> you know, um, and, and, and that's another reason why tonight, tomorrow night is so important, because it's the first time that I'll be performing at Castle Light Unlocks since, I think, Kanye West, which was in 2012, maybe, 2013. So that, that for me is, is, is special and it just comes, shows that, uh, you know, the, uh, how far that Castle Light and, and the whole brand is, 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 is changed and is taking our local talent um, very, very, very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> 